Okay, so this is somewhat known is known as real life probability, and we've already really sort of talked about some some of that stuff. Okay, in terms of percents. So again, go back and look at the multimedia. You know, if you look at this and go, oh, how is this all connected to what we're doing? Well, I'm talking about it now, and it's talked about about there too. Okay, so you can have a class, although there's only two sexes. You can have a greater number of one over the other, which means the likelihood of you selecting a student at random is not equally likely. The likelihood of you having a boy or a girl is equally likely. It's like flipping a coin. But based on what you see in your class, that's a different story. Okay, am I clear with that? Does that even make sense? Okay, um, what's the probability of selecting a female? How many females are there? 32 in the roster. How many students in the class? 58. What do you get as a reduced fraction? 16 over what? 29. What's that as a decimal rounded to the nearest thousandths? 0 0.1? 5, 5, 2. So what this means, note, is that 55.2% of the class, or of the roster, right, doesn't matter, consists of who? Consists of females. And let's see if you can answer this question. Which sex, male or female, right, is more likely to be selected? What does more likely mean? You guys know what more likely means? Greater, good, you guys say greater chance, that's exactly what it is. Greater chance or greater what? Probability, is that right? So can you guys tell me which one, which, which fraction or probability is larger? Which decimal is larger? Which one? Female, isn't it true that? 16 over 29 is greater than 13 over 29. Okay, notice that 0.552 is greater than 0.448. Isn't this a true statement? So do you want to know what that means? That it's more likely to select at random a who? Female, simply because has a greater probability, a greater chance. Similarly, it's less likely to select a who? Male. So this is some of the language. More likely, less likely. And remember we started talking about, you know, I think I mentioned, mentioned that this is probably one of the most important math classes you could ever take because it teaches you how to think. It teaches you how to make decisions. What's likely to happen, what's not likely to happen. Okay? So we're, we're giving you the, the language and how to think about this stuff. You know, just because there's two sexes, male and female, doesn't mean they're equally likely. You have a greater number of one over the other. In fact, um, in education, okay, do you guys know that there's more female students in colleges and universities than there are males? Do you guys know that? Did we talk about that already? No, there is. In fact, this is this is sort of rare. I don't can't remember when I had have had this many males. Okay. Huh? Get, well, maybe. Um, that changes, though. You know, at one point, there's more males in colleges and universities than females. But maybe these things are going to start to change again. I don't know. In fact, some, some even law schools are exclusively female. And that means they're all female. Now, why is that? Okay. 
that's for other disciplines to sort of um, define and to describe and to theorize. Math simply computes the what values and shows you uh, the information there. OK, you guys OK with this? You sure? I'm going to give you some more examples. Let me give you three settings here. Three sort of questions. Um, do you guys know what a standard deck of cards is? Huh? What's a standard deck? Well, OK, I, I know you guys are answering that as a number of cards in a standard deck. You know what a standard deck is? A standard deck of cards? I don't, I don't, I'm not going to go through a lot of detail with this, but it's in my multimedia, one of the multimedia presentations. I even put a picture here for you. Traditionally, um, people use cards and gambling to describe probabilities but for a few good reasons. It's a very good setting to, to start to talk about probability. And you know, some people believe that that's where probability really started, was people started to gamble and try to compute and reason their, their chances of winning, which is reasonable. Okay? People have been gambling since uh, probably they've first been able to communicate with one another. Okay. So what's a standard deck? Well, it's a deck of cards in which you throw out the what? Jokers. You don't throw out the jacks. People say jack. No. Throw out the jokers. Okay. And so if you do that, do you guys know what it looks like? Two things you can do. Go to the 99 cent store and buy a what? A deck of cards. How much, will they, how much will it cost? 99 cents. Isn't that good for getting some problems right on a test maybe someday? Turn a buck, take a look at the cards. Or look at your book. Or look at you know, the website information. It's there too. But I'll sort of describe it to you. Standard deck looks like this. Two, three, dot, 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 all the way up to a 10, a J, what does a J stand for? Jack. Q, what does Q stand for? K, what does K stand for? And what does the A stand for? Ace. <coughs> and in fact, you have four sets of these. Is that true? And they're called suits. You've got four different suits, I guess. 